Hinchcliffe Stadium, one of just two remaining Negro League ballparks, was the local athletic pulse of Patterson, New Jersey. Since 1997, it sat in disrepair. Its once vibrant presence diluted to an eyesore. You had a situation where there was graffiti all over the place. You had grass and weeds growing through the concrete and the bleachers and in the stands. You know, that was something that was special in our city before all this stuff started to happen. Um, it was really shocking to see the deterioration of the stadium and how much graffiti there was. It was completely covered. Uh, whoever it was, the city, the Board of Education, somebody was allowing that uh, historic landmark to just uh, dilapidate like that. It, it, was, it, was, it was actually heartbreaking. Hinchliffe Stadium's foundation laid the groundwork for a rich sports history, serving as a home for Negro League teams like the New York Black Yankees and New York Cubans. Hinchliffe Stadium was built in 1932. It's an Art Deco design. It's also a coliseum design, more than cast concrete. So it's a horseshoe. It's one of the highest points in Patterson. So not only can you see the game, but you can see all of Patterson. You can even see in the distance New York City. The stadium was also the center of the local football scene, where bragging rights to the oldest high school rivalry were won every Thanksgiving day. It was the place where you went for events that were citywide, midget car racing, semi-pro football, baseball. Well, I could think it was all those Thanksgivings that the place was jam-packed. You know, standing room only 10,000 strong. That stadium was held in such high regard because you could fit so many people in, there wasn't a bad seat in the house. After sitting dormant for 25 years, Hinchliffe's long-awaited full renovation officially broke ground in April 2021. Many tried over a significant period of time, and there were incremental steps, but no one was really able to kind of get it over the top until Mayor Saya came in in 2018. The groundbreaking was a very beautiful event, really, I think. The support for Major League Baseball was incredible. It was Larry Doby Jr., but it was also CeCe Sabathia, Willie Randolph, Omar Minaya. What we're trying to do now through restoration of the stadium and the exhibition center that's gonna be adjacent to the stadium is tell the story of Hinscliffe Stadium and what it means to not only black history, but American history. With the revitalized stadium ready for use, Patterson is poised to revive Hinchcliffe's sports legacy. Last September, the city announced that the New Jersey Jackals, a professional baseball team in the Independent Frontier League, would call Hinchcliffe Stadium home. Once the stadium reopens, I think it will be so significant for Patterson. I've been talking to some young kids who play football now, and the kids ask me, you think we'll ever be able to play our games in the stadium again? They really want to see and feel what it's like to play in a stadium that can hold eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 people and have the history that it had. I don't think it's known enough. Not, not, not enough people know about the history behind it and not enough people know that it's there. I feel like a lot of people know Patterson for the wrong reasons, but I feel like Hinchcliffe being rebuilt and Hinchcliffe being remembered, and if people were to know what Hinchcliffe has brought to the city of Patterson itself and the meaning behind it, it would help change the meaning a lot. Residents and those close to the stadium's history hope that Hinchcliffe's restoration serves as a microcosm of the restoration of Patterson. The rebirth of Hinchcliffe is seen as a crucial step toward the revitalization of the storied city. It's more than just a place or a stadium. It's really a field of dreams for people like me and those who are coming after me to learn and grow and to demonstrate their level of skill for the world to see.